Okay guys, the first thing we're gonna do is go to historicaerials.com. You can use a desktop, but I prefer to use my phone. It's just way easier and more convenient for me. So you're gonna wanna go to aerials, scroll down to the oldest year. Once you scroll down to the oldest year in your area, then the old historic aerial photos will pop up. Once you see the old historic aerials pop up, just go to the area that you're wanting to hunt. You're going to want to look for old roads, homes, um, any feature that you think that would be a good place where people used to be. This is a good tool to use to be able to find out where things used to be. Whether it was an old barn, an old house, the outhouse, sometimes you can even see the shadow of an old building or trees. Now you're gonna wanna click on the topos icon to the top left. Scroll down to the oldest year on the topo. This one has 1915 available for the oldest year. Now if you notice, there's little black boxes all over the map. These little black boxes are homes or businesses that used to be there in 1915. If you notice, it also shows land features such as lakes, rivers, creeks, roads, and also where old churches and schools used to be. Now we're going to go use the measure feature to the left. Click on measure, create a new measurement, and then we're going to want to zoom in on a box and just click a box that you want then hit finish. Now it's going to remember with the green dot where we click the box. Go back up to aerials and go back up to the newest aerial, which is 2019 on this map. Once you clicked on the newest aerial it gives you, which in this case is 2019, then it's going to remember where that box was with the green dot that you chose. Here's where that old home used to be. The green dot indicates where the black box used to be. Now go back over and compare with the topo icon. And here's the box. It shows that old road used to go right through there. If you wanna to go to 1938, just click 1938, 1955, 1957, and so on. Google Earth is a great tool to use for new aerial photos. You can zoom in and it's really easy and convenient to use. This is a St. Louis County plat map from 1878 on historicmapworks.com. This is a great site to use to find out where stuff used to be in the past. You simply just zoom in and see where old buildings and structures used to be. Your county's history can be found on the internet. Google search is a great tool to use to find such sites as this. Find out if your historical society has sites like this that tell about where things used to be, events that happened in the past, and so on. Metal detecting is a very great hobby to save our ancestors' history from the past. Just make sure you always get permission and be respectful to the landowners. Old ghost towns are a perfect place to search with your metal detector. Sometimes finding these areas are hard, but can be well worth it if you try. Old schools, old churches, and old fairgrounds are excellent places to metal detect. I hope this video truly helped you to find out 
more areas to hunt with your metal detector. There are so many places to hunt, you can't even count. All you gotta do is do your research and it will pay off.